This conference will now be recorded. Hello, this is Dale. Let's continue our education of my three principal method of trading. This is a laser focus system to unlock profits from any markets, stock market, options, ETFs, Forex. This will be part seven. And what I'm going to be talking about is the proper trade size for any given portfolio. Again, my name is Dale Brethire. I've been a trader for over 35 years. Been a guest speaker at a number of platforms, Money Block, Trade Monster, Investors Inspiration, Metastock, The Money Show, Value Charts, and MicroQuant. I've also written three financial books. Right now in my career, I have a strong passion to teach people how to be a success in this very, very difficult arena. I'm the founder of www.optionsinfinity.com. I believe it's the very best stock option <laughs> education website available today. Reason I want to talk about trade size is in the book by Jack Schlesinger, the market wizards, he says that the number one reason, the biggest reason traders fail is they invest too much on any given trade. Professionals realize that losers are inevitable and even losing streaks, so they never overinvest, but invest the same amount on each trade. I don't know which trade is going to be good. Yeah, I go through the same, the same methodology and the same strategy to pick the trades, but I'm prepared if it goes against me to take that, to, to cut my losses short, take that loss and move on and execute the next trade. Because I keep my trade size based on my portfolio size to the right proportion. And what I'm going to be doing is going over some formulas that I've put together to, to help people to look at really any given portfolio and, 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 and decide what that proper trade size is. We're going to be looking at the proper trade size for stocks. We're going to be looking at the proper trade size for trading monthly vertical spreads and then weeklies. First of all, for stocks, let's assume you had a $100,000 portfolio. Now, as a professional, we only risk about 1% on each trade. So 1% of 100,000 would be $1,000. Now, that's not the amount that I wanna spend on the trade. That's the amount that I am willing to lose on a trade. And the average loss on all my stock positions is no more than 10%. So the $1,000 represents that 10%. So what that means is I, I can invest $10,000 per trade to risk $1,000 with a $100,000 portfolio. Well, if you have $10,000 and your stock is, that you're interested in is about $100 per share, you can get a round lot of 100 shares. Now, let's say you've got a portfolio that's bigger than this. You've got a half a million dollars. All you have to do with this, with this equation is go ahead and make this a half a million. 
then this becomes 5,000. This would become 50,000, okay? And you just go through the equations and adjust it accordingly. Now, I always want to make sure I've got enough capital in my portfolio to make the trades when I see that they need to be made. And usually, I follow a very small market basket of equities, usually about 20. The reason I go with a small market basket is because I want to know inside and out what those stocks are doing. <clears throat> Usually that's only going to be a max of about 10 trades, maybe even less, if I've got 20 equities that I'm watching. Let's say I've got 10 trades and each trade is $10,000. 10 times $10,000 is $100,000. That's my capital allocation and that's my portfolio size. So I'm not, I'm not investing more than what I have in my portfolio. I don't want to go in margin. I don't want to trade a margin account because they're the, the, the four traders are, are charging you interest on anything you, you invest more than what you have. This formula can be used, like I said, for any portfolio size. You can adjust the amount of risk you're willing to take. You can adjust the, the loss per trade. And I recommend that everybody keep a trading journal so that you, after a, a good period of time, you can look at your trades and say, what is the average loss that I'm having? So all these equations, all these variables can be changed and put in specifically for your portfolio. Now let's take a look at the proper trade size for monthly credit spreads. And here, let's assume you've got a $20,000 margin portfolio. With credit spreads, I might be willing to risk a little bit more than that 1% per trade. Let's, let's take it up to 2% per trade. 2% of $20,000 is, is only $400. Now the average loss on a monthly credit spread is only about 6%. That's where I cut it. And usually when I get a major move that's going against me, that, that I wanna cut that loss and it's usually only gonna be about 6% of margin requirement. So I take the 400 divided by 6%, and that shows me that I, I'm willing to trade and invest a, very close to $7,000 per trade. Now, for the monthly credit spreads, I'm always looking at a 10-point spread when I set up the option that I'm going to sell and then the option that I'm going to buy. 10 times 100 is going to be a thousand dollars per contract that the brokerage is going to require for margin. If I'm willing to invest seven thousand dollars per 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 um, signal, then what that means is I can I can with a twenty thousand dollar portfolio I can go ahead and make seven contracts every time I see a signal. Now for monthly credit spreads, I always look at the big four. My big four, they're Amazon, Google, RUT, and ESPX. And the reason why I use the, those big four is they are large in size and you can get very nice credits by only going out one month. So I always just trade the big four. So the max I'm going to have is four trades, and usually it's only going to be about two at a time. Two trades times $7,000 is $14,000 capital allocation, which is well within my $20,000 portfolio. Using these equations, you can determine the proper trade size, and that's going to alleviate one of the number one reasons why retail investors lose. Now, the last one we want to look at is the proper trade size for weeklies. 
Now, weeklies, let's assume we've got a $10,000 portfolio. We're going to specifically use to trade the weeklies. And one of the difference between the monthlies and the weeklies is I'm only looking at a $5 spread uh, versus a 10 point spread with the monthlies. Again, if I risk 2% per trade, 2% of the 10,000 is 200. The average loss here is less than what I had, excuse me, a little bit more around 25%. So I want to divide the 200 by 25%, and, I, and I'm saying I can invest $800 per signal, if you will. Now, the average contract margin for a weekly option is $5 spread or $500 minus the credit. So it's going to be roughly about $400. $800 is what you can invest with a $10,000 portfolio. Each one's gonna cost you $400 margin, so you can get about two contracts every time you get a signal. Once again, you can go back and you can adjust this according to whatever your portfolio size is. Let's say your portfolio size is 30,000. You wanna you want to specifically invest in weeklies. You All of a sudden, this number becomes 600 the 600 divided by 25%. So you can go through all these equations to determine your proper trade size. This is going to keep you conservative. It's going to keep you safe. And it's going to keep you from falling into the trap of over-investing in any given trade. In 2019, two contracts per trade returned about $5,435 or 54% of a $10,000 portfolio. Now, what's interesting about that is 54% is about five times higher than what the SPX returned. And this is, and this is the kind of trading we do to conservatively bring in a consistent cash flow month after month. One other thing I want to mention is that this is this is what happened in 2019. Past performances are no guarantees of future results. Now, if you found this video helpful, we're more than halfway through uh, our 12 part series. Uh, so stick around. We've got some more information to uh, impart. In the meantime, if you'd like to explore more about Options Infinity, go to our website, www.optionsinfinity.com. Scroll down and you see that uh, you can get our three principle method blueprint in PDF form. By clicking this button, you can either view or download. If you like what you hear, if you like what you see, if you like what you're reading, and you think this strategy is for you, I'd love you to become a member of our community. Members always get text and email alerts that I send out when I see the very best trades occurring for weeklies, monthlies, and leaps, stocks, and Forex. All these trades are posted in the last 10 years. We've returned 75% winners. I also uh, have a teach, I, I teach the, the weekly webinar. We get together as a community. I usually give a little bit of a lesson. We go over all our trades, why I got in, why I got out, what, how we're managing them. And there's, then there's plenty of time for questions. And then Thursday and Sunday, I always have a review of the trades. And this, uh, these reviews were voted in the top 10 blogs worldwide by Feedspot. So there's a lot that members get. Again, you can, you can earn while you're learning. And I hope you take advantage of it. And I hope to see you in the room. Bye-bye now.